What's up everybody? What I'm going to be doing here today is a CMOS battery replacement but I'm going to be doing it with this Dell Dimension 2400 it's been needing a new CMOS battery for don't know how long this one went dead actually I went ahead and picked up one from Radio Shack when I was on my break at work paid five dollars for a quarter size battery that these CMOS batteries are but to get to your CMOS battery all you gotta do is disconnect all the power and, and everything in the back of the computer and get your side cover off and we'll get right into it alright once you got your side cover open but first like I said Make sure you have everything in the back all disconnected before messing with the CMOS battery because you don't want no kind of static charge so be sure to ground yourself doing this touching the bare metal or if you have one of them little anti-static straps that go around your wrist. So what I'm going to be doing is simply taking out the old CMOS battery. It just flies right on out. Tell this one's all no more good. You want to make sure the battery to use is a CR2032. And that's what this one is. But you can't hardly tell from the camera's ability to focus on it. But uh, chuck that over to the side. But uh, put it down so we can get the new battery installed in the exact same location and there you go new batteries installed so let's go ahead and set the tape and time and let's make sure it actually works all right, I got the computer all booted up, and I went ahead and adjust my date and time. But when you replace the CMOS battery in this in your in any computer, you will be required to set the date and time because that's one of the main indications when your computer needs a new CMOS battery. You can actually do it in the BIOS, but if you don't feel like going through the BIOS and doing it in some BIOSes, it will want you to do it in military time. You can actually boot up into Windows and go to your date and time settings and adjust the time and date to the correct day that it should be on anyway, but I'm going to let the computer run a little while so it can charge up the CMOS battery. And I got more to come on this Dell Dimension 2400 also. It's going to be some upgrades. Mainly with the RAM and the hard drive. So be on the lookout for that. And I'm starting to get a work on... But I'm mainly working on my Dell Inspiron 1525. That are that I acquired a few months ago. So, hope this video was a little helpful, and thanks for watching.